But well, this isn't a traffic stop, and I haven't broken a law. <laughs> this is not a traffic stop, and I have not broken a law. I'm under arrest. What am I under arrest for? Yeah, what is, what disorderly conduct? Get out of the car. We'll talk about it. But right now, you're resisting arrest. <laughs> Get out of the car. We're gonna drag you out. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff's deputy. Today's YouTube video is brought to you by the channel called Kim Before The Storm. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please show support and go and do so. Today, we're taking a look at the Yavapai, Arizona Sheriff's Office. We're gonna look as deputies pull up to a scene clueless of what's going on, but they jump out of their vehicles, run up to a driver's vehicle and request or order him to get out because they received a call. No investigation, no knowledge of what's going on, only because they received a call and they went with the caller's story. I'm not gonna to say too much right now. We'll jump more into it later. Let's get right into this video. What in the hell is going on? What? I'm on private property, boss. Have I broken a law? Step out of the vehicle, please. Have I broken a law? No, but this, we're officer safety. We don't know what's in the vehicle. All right. Like you step out, we can talk. Well, this isn't a traffic stop, and I haven't broken a law. This is not a traffic stop, and I have not broken a law. I'm under arrest. What am I under arrest for? Get, what is, what disorderly conduct? Get out of the car. We'll talk about it. But right now, you're resisting arrest. <laughs> Get out of the car. We're going to drag you out. We're going to break the window. We're going to drag you out. For what what conduct did I do that was disorderly? disorderly. You witnessed disorderly conduct. Arrest thirteen dash one nine zero four. You witnessed disorderly conduct. Wait, you witnessed disorderly conduct to arrest me? Are you? Is there a sergeant here? Lieutenant's right here. Okay, you witnessed disorderly conduct to arrest me, Lieutenant? Well, he's saying I'm under arrest. Well, am I under arrest or not? So I'm not under arrest and they just threatened arrest? Okay, I'll agree with you there. Clearly, I'm being lawfully detained. Am I under arrest like this officer just said? You said I'm not. You Well... Freaking vent so loud, I gotta. Okay. Sir, please step out of the vehicle. No. Okay. So I said I'll talk to you. Okay, do you have any weapons in your car? I'm not gonna answer any okay, questions. Because this is a big difference between us taking you out or not. So you could roll down the window the whole way and let us see your hands. Okay. You, you guys have my. You can see my hands. You can see my hands. This isn't in the Bro. We're getting to the point where this isn't in the I. Uh, I I understand my rights. I no officer yeah, safety. Well, Seeing first, both of my hands right now. If it's a lawful traffic stop, I, on private property. Yeah, so what am I being stopped for? I want to know. He said I'm under arrest, and you said maybe. Now I'm not. Le I'm not stopped for a traffic stop. Clearly. Okay. To investigate something. To investigate something. Yes. Okay. What are you investigating? Disorderly conduct. Okay. When, well, I'm, I it wasn't disorderly. So what do you want to know? At this point, the driver will explain to sheriff deputies what happened. This incident takes place at Verde Valley RV and Camping Resort. He was harassed by an employee concerning his service dog. The employee stated that his dog was a fake service dog. The driver then told the employee he was way out of line and he then began to record. Upon seeing the camera, the employee attitude completely changed for the better. The employee then left. The next morning, the driver attempted to get the manager's name so that he could file a complaint, but the security guard refused to give him the manager's name. We should also note that this was through text message, so there is proof of the conversation with the security guard and the events of it. The next morning, the driver went to the campground's office and attempted to get the name of the manager to file a complaint, but the security guard called 911 instead. The entire incident was over the man's service dog. After the security guard refused to give the driver the name of the manager, the driver turned to leave the office with plans of getting the requested information another way. That brings us to where we are now in the video. This is where he is attempting to leave when sheriff deputies arrive as if someone was being robbed. All right, sir, so the manager wants you trespassed from the property. I have leaser's rights. 
you guys don't have the authority to get me off of here unless I've committed a crime. So, like you said, it's private property. No, you don't. I have leasers rights. I'm part of the private property boss. I got a lease for a $6,500 contract. Okay, let me talk to the dispatch for a second. We can work this out. Okay. Yeah, how about these guys and how about me and you talk and these guys just you cover? I have your ID by chance, sir. If I haven't broken a law, I'm not giving you my ID. No, you're being lawful. Okay, but these are hey, stop talking to me. Your lieutenant's talking to me. You shitty and grin. I'm talking to you. Yeah, look at you. You just want to shoot somebody or beat their ass. This is the kind of cop that we all know is out looking for trouble. We all saw that grin. We know he wants to bust this window and drag me out. This one here too. This one hey. de-escalating super good. Okay, you can tell why he's the lieutenant. Can these guys, look oh, at that face. Plate, so just run his plate. Oh, let's just get it. We can get it either way because it's crack. We need his ID. It's crack cocaine, man. We got to get that ID. Here's a, look at, we'll see what this one is. No bald head, so a little bit of a... All right, sir, so... I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your lieutenant. Cover, contact. Contact, cover. Okay? Well, you're the only one that's not aggravating me and, and seems to be level-headed enough. These guys clearly want to escalate, pull me out of the truck and beat my ass, take me to jail. These guys over here just don't want to be wrong and get corporate involved because they already screwed up. I am by myself. I've been a member of this for over two years. I haven't broken any laws. Don't go anywhere. Just wait. Can I get your name and badge number, boss? 11041. What's your name? What's your name? Contreras. What is it? Deputy Contreras. That's him? Yeah. Thank you, Hughes. Appreciate you being professional. You and the lieutenant, super professional. Those two are going to get you guys in trouble. You. What was your name and badge number real quick? I didn't get yours. My first name is Patrick. Last name is Bame. 10337. All right. Thank you. Um, so do you... Do you camp here? or do I full-time. I'm part of this. Okay, I was so just telling him, this is like a timeshare for rvs okay uh you buy a membership in it's you can ranges from like six thousand to sixteen thousand and then you pay month yearly dues and then you travel full time through the system throughout the u.s so it's kind of like a like a landlord tenant yes thing okay. i would i would say that would be the closest thing okay my because my understanding was uh you were just a camper no uh, staying for i have a contract for a lifetime okay. membership so us as deputies are responding because now we're being told that there's another male subject such as yourself um back at the gate being disorderly everything like that okay it's on film just so you know I, but yeah i'm sure it is but again yep i'm i'm here you bro i hear you i was you were pulling away as i pulled up but yeah okay so we don't know exactly what's going on we don't know exactly what's going on we don't know exactly what's going on. Which is why you should investigate first instead of pulling up like a bunch of tough guys. Okay, all we know is that there was a disorderly individual going up, uh, going Reported, around, yeah. Being disorderly, yelling, threatening people, okay? So disorderly conduct is basically making unreasonable noise, mm -hmm. using language that provokes another. Threats, yeah, yeah. Um, or serious disruptive behavior. You don't know if a law is broken. You're investigating. Have reasonable suspicion. Reasonable suspicion. That a law was yep. broke. That's yep. why you're detained. Yeah, I got that. So when a law enforcement officer... But coming out telling me I'm under arrest when you see no weapons, don't see me being disorderly, and tell me you're going to bust my window and jacking it up, that's pretty freaking so, out of line, let, dude. Let me explain that, okay? So when we ask you, please step out of the car... And I don't have to. If I haven't broken a law or I'm not on a traffic stop, me, that's MIMS, right? Pennsylvania vs. MIMS is a yeah. driver has to step out of a vehicle. On a lawful traffic stop. Which this is a lawful This is not stop. a lawful traffic stop. They, they say they want you trespassed. However, they don't have the right. That's why I'm talking to you trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Okay? You're going to need like, to get corporate like, and the property owner okay. involved. It sounds like you have bought basically a piece of property and you're living on mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. temporarily. Mm -hmm. Okay? To us, that sounds more like a landlord tenant thing. The manager wants you trespassed from the property. I have leasers' rights. You guys don't have the authority to get me off of here unless I've committed a crime. So, like you said, it's private property. No, you don't. I'm guessing this cop really did not understand the fact that this man had a contract and he was a lawful owner of the property. ARS 13-502. Criminal trespass in the third degree occurs when a person has received a reasonable request to leave by the owner or any other person having lawful control over such property and they have refused to do so. Seeing that he is an owner or a person having lawful control of the property, this now becomes a civil matter. The cops cannot force him to leave. All right, thank you. 
Corey, I apologize. I made a mistake in saying that. Bro, you're, you're I really appreciate that. Disorderly conduct, but there is a crime being investigated regardless. I totally or get the it. New information is not disorderly conduct. It could be trespassing, like you said. Well, so. yeah, I appreciate you apologizing for the way you came up. It was pretty freaking aggressive, and yeah, it would have went sideways real quick. I I would have lost, but it would have just been bad, dude. I'm not that kind of guy. Do the same. What I'm gonna tell you is. Don't talk to them. Stay 100%. Yeah, right. yeah. Please tell them. Yes. <laughs> Trust that, me, I'm on that. <laughs> the fact that you recorded yep. that interaction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that helps with whatever side. Okay? Yeah. And I'm going to ask you, you don't have to. Yeah. Would you be willing to show me the recording? Yes. Okay. I will show you the recording. Uh, of, of in here? Of, of the now that we're done, you've released me and we're good to go. I'll shut, off, are, I'll shut off my phone and, and you're 100% I'll just good. show you so that you can get the tone of what was going on in there. And and anyone watching this, if I never come back, you know why. <laughs> this is why you always report the police and never trust anything the police tell you. Make sure you know your rights and don't believe the cops. Always record. He has filed a complaint and attempted to get the body cam footage, but no more on the follow-up as of yet. We'll keep our eyes on this one. Make sure you know your rights and never trust the cops. With that being said, We The People University, signing off.